Hey guys, think natural disasters. When you think of natural disasters, there are several that come to mind. You have earthquakes, volcanoes, tornadoes, hurricanes. But if I show you marshmallows and I show you toothpicks and tell you that we're about to do an experiment that has to do with natural disasters, you're gonna be like, wait, what? Marshmallows and toothpicks and natural disasters? But yeah, we're going to do that. And I have a challenge for you. This is your challenge. I need you to get a bag of marshmallows. And you know what I love about this is if your marshmallows ever get stale, the worst thing to do as a scientist is to throw them out. You could reuse anything rather than making it into garbage. Now, you have a challenge, and your challenge is this. Can you create a multi-story structure? A structure are things that people can build, okay? So you have to make it multi-floored, which means more than one or two, I would say. And here's the kick. After you build it, it has to be standing. You're not allowed to hold it up. It has to be freestanding and stable. Stable on the table. Gravity should not be knocking it down. But then we're gonna simulate an earthquake. So after you're done and you've made this really awesome structure, made out of only marshmallows and toothpicks, we're gonna shake the table and we're gonna make an earthquake. And you can be like, earthquake! And just tremble and vibrate. And if your structure is still standing, after 30 seconds of your simulated earthquake, you, my dear, are an engineer. And check this out, okay? Your structure is actually gonna be three-dimensional. And all you need are marshmallows, and all we need are toothpicks. It doesn't matter if they're the pointy type or the flat type, but marshmallows are actually cylinder shapes, okay? So take a marshmallow, take a toothpick, put it through. You kind of have, it looks like, like a, you're going to be working out with it, right? But you're not. Now, think about how we can take this and turn it into a really awesome three-dimensional shape. I'm going to start with a square, and then I'm going to build it up and turn this square into a cube. Now I'm going to start going higher, just like this. And the beauty about this experiment is bag of marshmallows, is so inexpensive. Toothpicks, pretty much anybody has toothpicks at home. And I could learn so many amazing concepts of engineering and building, gravity, center of gravity. You see, you really want this structure to have this amazing center of gravity so that, because if you really think about it, gravity is always trying to knock you down, okay? In fact, unfortunately, when we get a little older, you start to lean forward because your, your lifetime, your body has done nothing but battle gravity, which is why our backs arch as we get older, okay? But now look, I just made a three-dimensional cube. This is exactly one floor high. But the challenge is, could you create multi-floors? And as you get it to go higher and higher, okay, it has to be stable, stable on the table. You do not want it to be not balanced. The rules are you're not allowed to hold it up. This is a challenge. And you're only allowed to use toothpicks. You're not allowed to get scotch tape, okay? That's the challenge. And as you can see already, mine is starting to lean. Gravity is always pulling on it. I'm only gonna make mine three toothpicks high. Just because I don't need to make it bigger, that's gonna be your challenge. And then I'm gonna simulate an earthquake. And then I'm gonna see if my structure is still standing. And there are other things that you can do, actually, to try to make your structure more stable. Questions like, what happens if you added toothpicks across the squares? Something like this. Would this help? Would this help? Science is all about asking questions. Test them and see what happens. That's two, straw, two toothpicks high. And now I'm gonna go three toothpicks high. And by the way, if you don't have marshmallows, you could actually use gumdrops, my whole point of this is you can build and learn about structures and engineering and, and earthquakes using any materials that you have at home. Uh-oh, gravity, stop. There we go. It does get a little harder as you get higher, and you're gonna realize that, and you guys are gonna get frustrated. It's starting to look like the leaning tower of marshmallows. And I'm just gonna put my toothpicks across the top, and then I'm gonna shake the table, and it's earthquake time. Will my structure still be standing? Will it fall? If it does fall, 
What can I do differently to try to get it to stay up? Science is all about asking amazing questions. Right now it's standing and I am about to make an earthquake. As I hit the table, the table's gonna shake and let's see what happens to my structure. Still standing, it's stable, on the table. Marshmallows, toothpicks, your challenge, make a multi-story building, make it taller, shake the table, make an earthquake, and see if it's able to still be standing. I did it, can you?